So, you've heard of white noise. Did you know there was pink and blue noise? And indeed, perhaps green noise and red noise and a whole range of other noises. Where do all those different colours come from? And what is white noise anyway? How can noise have a colour? Yeah, so I can just do it here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so that's white noise. So that's uh, the sound of a signal which has absolutely no periodicity to it. It's entirely and utterly random. Why do we call it white noise? Well, we call it white noise in an allergy with spectrum, with spectrum of light from a rainbow, for example, or any type of spectrum. So all frequencies contribute equally. So just as you have with white light, all colours contribute equally. In this case, all frequencies. What does that mean? Well, you can think of a wave, and a wave varies in time. And so if it's varying with a slow frequency, it's changing on slow time scales, and it's not, you know, very rapid. But then you can also have high frequency waves, which oscillate back and forth very, very quickly. So the difference between a t -t 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 and a t -t 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 -t, that's what I'm talking about. You mix those all together, all those different frequencies, from the, the very, very slow to the very, very high, and you mix them all together equally, and what you get is white noise. So what you were hearing was a sample of white noise, which has been generated very simply on a computer, which covers frequencies from very, very low, close to zero hertz, all the way up to about 20 kilohertz, something like that. And it's an equal mixture of all those frequencies. And that's what this is showing us. It's showing us the power associated with each frequency. And so you mix it all up, so all the powers contribute equally, and what you get is white noise. So that's our spectrum for white noise. So just as we have, you know, if you have a pink colour or a red colour or a blue colour in terms of light, it means that certain frequencies are dominating, certain wavelengths, certain frequencies are dominating. If you've got pink noise, then what you have is the lower frequencies, which are moving towards the red end of the spectrum, are contributing more. So if we, if we look at a spectrum for pink noise, Did you hear any difference at all? Was that low, was that supposed to be lower pitch? So, well, it's not, it's, that's meant to be pink noise, so it's meant to be different from white noise. Can you hear any difference? Will we play the two back to back and see if you can hear any difference? Can you hear that lower frequency rumble? Yeah, it's, it's deeper. It is, it's deeper. And that's what we'd expect because in this case, when we look at the frequency spectrum, then what we find is instead of it being flat, it tails off. And so what we have is the lower frequencies contribute more than the higher frequencies. So we hear that rumble. And in fact, the one over F noise, if you listen to it again, sounds rather like rainfall. Listen to it. Imagine being sitting inside and you listen to the rain outside. You okay. just said 1 over F. Yes. Did I just say 1 over F? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's how the frequency spectrum goes. So the, the power in this case goes inversely with the frequency. So as we're going up in frequency, the power is dropping down. So it goes as 1 over F. So the white noise has no dependence. So no dependence on frequency, so it's a constant. So it's flat. So, but we can also have blue noise. And you can probably guess what blue noise is. That's not blue noise. That's not blue noise. Yes, that's certainly got a periodic tone. Hello? All right, go on. <laughs> <laughs> with 1 over F, so it falls off with frequency. So it's inversely dependent on frequency. If we have blue noise, then you probably can guess what it's going to do. But let's have a listen to blue noise first of all. The power last time was proportional to 1 over F, so it was falling off with frequency. Now it's proportional to F, so it's growing with frequency. And it's exactly the same. So what we're doing with 1 over F is we're weighting it towards the lower frequencies, getting redder, getting pinker. What we're doing now is we're weighting it towards higher frequencies, getting bluer. When I think of white noise, I think of that fuzz on the TV. What's that? That's exactly, that's a visual representation of what we're hearing here in terms of exactly the same idea where we get a great deal of um, 
uh, frequencies all contributing together. Once we have all those frequencies contributing, so we don't have a spectrum with a ramp like it on this, where it's a flat spectrum, we call that white noise. In some cases, depending on the equipment you have and depending on the type of setup you have and depending on how your aerial's working, you might have deviations from white noise. But white noise means that you have got to have everything contributing to the same extent. You'll get a lot of websites saying that what you should do is fall asleep with pink noise because it gives you a more sort of harmonious brain rhythm. There seem to be some papers that make suggestions along those lines. I'm not entirely convinced, I've got to admit. I must admit that part of me thinks that what we should do, Brady, is just record a lot of white noise and pink noise and blue noise and send it out there and charge, charge a little bit of money for it. I think we'd, we'd, we could set up a, a business fairly quickly. Phil, I um, want to hear black noise. You always wear black. Oh, that's interesting. There is indeed, there is even black noise. There is black noise. What's black? That's, so, surely that's no noise. That, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Black noise is an absence of any noise at all. It's, but it's even defined. You can find a wiki entry on black noise, which I didn't even realise until very recently. That's what we should do. So black noise. <laughs> <laughs> there is that concerto, isn't there? There's that, that's... Um, that piece of classical music, or meant to be classical, which is like a time, 4.32 or something, which is just silence, just pure silence. That's what it is. I there's think it's called John Cage, isn't it? There's something ironic that, like, you know, heavy metal people wear black, and yet black noise... No, it's is silence. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. And that's because we interact with... Her. Ultimately, it's because we interact with our environment, and that doesn't require consciousness. It's just, you know, just the very fact that these waves, these quantum waves are getting scattered of, of objects 